Hello my peeps out there. What we're looking at today is my latest haul of silver. I got me two um, Barber dimes, two Mercury dimes, two Roosevelt dimes, a Walking Liberty half dollar, and a quarter from 1959. Sorry, 1964. My bad. <laughs> this whole stash of silver cost me 45 bucks but at the end of the video I'll do you an overhaul of how much this actually really costs compared to how much I actually uh, if I was to sell it how much I'd be able to make profit on it but like I said we got two Barber Dimes 1941 and 1944 we got two Mercury Dimes Oh, sorry, the Mercury Dimes are 41 and 44. The Barber Dimes were 1914, both of them. Two 1959 Silver Dimes, Roosevelt Dimes. And as I'm looking at them, I mean, look at this. I can't even see it. This one right here. Looks like there's a little butt chin going on compared to the one right next to it. A 1964 quarter and a 1944 Walking Liberty half dollar. I think these coins are really cool. I'm going to throw them under the microscope and we're going to take a good look at them because, trust me, some of this stuff on here is, is really beautiful. I do like these dimes. Like I said, I mean, I do think this one might have a die chip or something on it because it looks a lot different than the one right next to it and they're both the same year. But let's look at the microscope and see what we see. Now I'll just give you a price analysis of uh, what each coin costs compared to how much I spent and how much I made. So stick with me. Okay, my peeps, time to throw these on the microscope and see what we see. This is going to be the Walking Liberty. And as you can see, she's actually pretty worn down. Let me get some of that glare off there for you. Give me a better view at least. And then we'll just pop on these little lights right there. Yeah, makes them better. But as you can see, I mean, she does say Liberty on it. it. Does have a sun right here? You can see that with the rays. You barely see the date right there, except for a 44. So I'm saying it's 1944. She has a lot, lot of wear and tear on her. Looks like this is die chip right there. And then on the back of her. As you can see, it's pretty badly worn down on the back too. But it is a half dollar, right there says it. See, right there. Well, that's the Walking Liberty. Okay, time for the quarter. Well, let's see here. We've got 1964 quarter, and God we trust. Nothing out of the ordinary in the front of that, like a C. But on the back, there's still nothing at, at an ordinary. A bit more detail on the wings. And as you look, right here's your Denver mint mark. But otherwise, it looks pretty good still, nonetheless. Okay. The itty bitty Barber Dime. Uh, Barber Dime, yeah. It's. It's had a bit of wear and tear on it as well, but otherwise it's not in bad condition. You can still see a bit of the face, the lips, the eyes, a bit of the ear, and your crown. And then on the back, oh, she's a Denver. Nice. I didn't see the, the mint mark on the back, I thought she was a Philly, but she's a Denver. And then how about the, other, the, the last Barber Dime? He said on the, there's a bit more detail in her as you can see a bit more of the mouth right there a bit more of the eye a bit more of her crown on it she is a Denver as well nice and it looks a lot more detailed back here as well as you can see it looks really really good okay Mercury Dimes 
1941 Mercury Dime. She has, like I said, this one has some, some detail in the wings a bit and her, her crown, you can, you can call it her hat or crown, whatever you want to call it. I don't see anything out of the ordinary that would suggest a die chip or die crack on the front. And then on the back, like said, this, we know she's a Philly, but she's on mint mark back here. That's the Philly tradition. How about the other one? Nineteen forty-four. Just some good detail in her wings on the hat. A bit more detail on the face, you can see it. A bit of wearing right up along there, though. You can see that how it's, the bridge is just worn down a bit compared to like right there and right down there. <clears throat> and this is also Philly as well. This is no mark on the bottom. But otherwise, I mean, besides that, that right there, which is probably wear and tear, this is not bad condition at all. Okay. First, Roosevelt Dime. I mean, look how nice he looks. That's what I'm thinking. My 1959 Roosevelt Dimes are uncirculated. I'm going to have to take a closer look up around here because. Even the slight glare makes it not look that good. You can't see any airs on there or anything like that. But I'll take a closer look like that off camera so you guys, as you guys know what they find. And just so you know, it's a Philly as well because there is no mint mark on this front or back. But it's still pretty good looking. I like it. And then the last 1959 dime, because they got two of them. better I mean he's not bad he shows a bit of wear and tear right up along here and a bit right there and then we flip him over and like I said again no mint mark anywhere on it so he's a Philly guaranteed so my peeps out there what do you guys think of my silver collection I mean let me wrong, I do, I do like all the silver I'm getting. But like I said, I stick towards the very end here, which is here shortly, and I'm going to give you a breakdown of price by price for each of the coins I have that I got today in the mail. Yes, I bought them from a, a collection uh, for a set price. And like I said, at the very end, I will give you a breakdown of all the coins, how much they cost me, well, how much they cost me compared to how much the actual price is on the low end. And I'll also do the high end on some of them too, because the high end on some of these is actually pretty good. Like, for instance, the um, half, the um, literally half dollar on the high end, so it's for $3,250. But I, but I only went down to eleven twenty five for the low end, which is what it says on, on the internet for just, uh, the grading companies. But like I said, stick with me and I'll give you the breakdown on the rest of the, on the price check. Thank you guys. Bye.